In this question, the number n of animals of a certain species at time t years increases at a rate of lambda n per year by births, but decreases at a rate of mu t per year by deaths, where lambda and mu are positive constants. Modelled as continuous variables, n and t are related by the differential equation dn by dt is equal to lambda n take away mu t. So the rate of change of the number of animals over time is equal to the rate at which they are increasing, take away the rate at which they are decreasing. Given that n is equal to n0 when t is 0, find n in terms of t, lambda, mu and n0. Okay, so the first thing is that this is not currently written in the correct format, ready for me to find the integrating factor. Now, because it's got lots of letters involved, right, um, it can be quite difficult to spot where things need to be when it's in these context situations when we're modelling. So, uh, what you need to remember is that the format uh, will have you will have dy by dx plus p of x times y is equal to q of x. So what you need is something times the y value, and that's the variable in the numerator, well, in the upper part of the uh, derivative. So the capital N here is representing our y value. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rearrange this to get dn by dt take away lambda n is equal to minus mu t. So I'm going to move the, minus, the lambda n over to the left-hand side. Now I can find the integrating factor. So the integrating factor is going to be e to the integral of the coefficient of n here, so minus lambda dt. So that's going to be e to the minus lambda t, and that's my integrating factor. So I'm going to multiply through my equation by that, so e to the minus lambda t dn by dt take away lambda e to the minus lambda t capital N is equal to minus mu e to the minus lambda t t. So the left hand side is a perfect derivative now d by dt of e to the minus lambda t times n and the right hand side is my minus mu e to the minus lambda t t. Right, I now need to integrate both sides. So the left-hand side is just e to the minus lambda t times n. The right-hand side, uh, I need to integrate this using by parts. OK, so I'm going to factor out the minus mu, and I'm going to integrate t e to the minus lambda t. Now, using uh, integration by parts and the late rule. Remember, we would identify u as to be the t, and the dv by dt is going to be the e to the minus lambda t. So du by dt will be equal to 1, and v will be equal to minus 1 over lambda e to the minus lambda t, integrating that. So we have u times v, so minus 1 over lambda t e to the minus lambda t take away the integral of v times du by dt so taking away and the minus cancel one another out so plus the integral of 1 over lambda e to the minus lambda t dt close bracket okay so this is where we're at I'm just going to erase that bit to give myself a little bit of space OK, so keep the left-hand side. So e to the minus lambda t times n is equal to, we've got the minus mu, so I'll leave that alone for the moment. Then I've got this term, so minus 1 over lambda t e to the minus lambda t. And I'm going to integrate this, so I would get take away 1 over lambda squared e to the minus lambda t. Close the bracket, and I'm going to add the constant of integration onto the end. Now, I could include it inside the bracket. This is a personal choice, um, because I would rather it be on the outside rather than me then have to 
have that extra factor of mu okay, involved. So this just makes it a little bit easier for me. So the next thing is I'm going to divide through by e to the minus lambda t, and I'm going to expand that bracket at the same time. So n is equal to, we're going to have minus mu times this, so we're going to get mu over lambda times t, but I've divided through by the e to the minus lambda t, remember, so that term's gone. Then minus mu times minus 1 over lambda squared, so plus mu over lambda squared, and I've cancelled through the e to the minus lambda t, so that's gone. Then I've got this plus c, and remember I'm dividing through by e to the minus lambda t, so this would be e to the lambda t. So 1 over e to the minus lambda t is e to the lambda t. So this is what I now have. Now, I've been given this extra condition, given that n is equal to n0 when t is 0. So when t, when t is 0, n is equal to n0. So we'd have n0 is equal to, this term will be 0. We've got mu over lambda squared there. And e to the lambda times 0 is 1, so we'll have just plus c. So that means that c is equal to n0 take away mu over lambda squared. Therefore, n is equal to mu over lambda times t plus mu over lambda squared plus c, which is the n0 take away mu over lambda squared, times by e to the lambda t. And so this is n in terms of t lambda, mu, and n0, as required.